Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can turn your Zoom call recordings into a cool Instagram post. So with the whole global lockdown, interviews and podcasts are taking place more and more online through Zoom calls and Google Meets calls rather than actually being in person. And this has led to a lot of video content being created for platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. And in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can take your Zoom call recording and turn it into an awesome Instagram post. So with that being said, let's get started and the tool we're going to be using is called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and click on the first link. If not, as usual, the links are going to be in the description down below. Now, once you're on Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button in the top left. And now we're in Veed's video editor, and this is where we're going to upload our video. And to be more precise, we're going to upload our Zoom call recording. If you don't know how to record your Zoom call recording, I'm going to put a link to a video in one of the cards at the top of the screen. Okay, so I'm just going to click on the upload video button. And now I'm going to select my online call recording. And if I click on open, now it's imported into Veed's video editor. As we can see, this is a Google Meets call, but it comes down to the exact same thing. A Google Meets call, a Zoom call, it doesn't really matter. So now I have my video you'll notice that if I click play, as we can see, it's a video. In this video recording, there actually isn't any audio, so it's normal that you can't hear anything. However, obviously your recording will have the audio, so if you do want to adjust the video volume, you can do so by clicking on the video tab and then adjusting the volume slider here. And if you want, you can also add some background music by clicking on the audio tab, uploading an audio, and then adjusting the volume level for that audio as well. So I might just do this. Let's say I click on upload audio. I'm going to go ahead and find my song. So let's just choose this song by the Rolling Stones. As we can see now, it's been imported. First thing I'm going to do, as we can see, it's way longer than the actual Zoom recording. I'm going to trim, and then I'm just going to cut it off and make it roughly the same length as my Zoom recording. And then just click Fit to Screen right there, and then just turn the volume all the way down to, let's just say, 5%, so it's some very low background music. Now if I click Play, as you can see, you can hear the Rolling Stones drums very lightly. So now, first of all, before we actually start cutting and slicing and trimming our video, what we're going to do is actually change the aspect ratio so it's the perfect size for Instagram. So let's say we want to make a square video post, or we could even say we want to make a 4x5 portrait post. To do this, we just click on the Canvas Size drop-down menu, and then here we have a bunch of different social media aspect ratios we can choose from. So if we want to turn it into a square post for Instagram, we can just select Square, and as we can see now we have a square video, and then we can also click again on the Video tab and either click on Fill Frame or Fit to Frame. I'm going to click back on Fill Frame, and now what we're going to do is actually just click and drag it around so we only have the faces of my co-workers on the video screen and here we go now if I click play okay so this is perfect so now I know what my video is going to look like I want to start cutting and splitting and just making sure there's only the content of the video that I want to keep so to do this all you have to do is place your playhead in a specific area let's say I want to cut it right here I can place the playhead there and then just click on the split tool and now it's split into two clips and I can just click and drag to trim and then let's just say I want to cut this bit here. I can hit the split tool again, select this clip. If I want to delete the middle, I can then bring this to there. And now as we can see, it's two different clips entirely. And then you can also just trim off the end, for an example, unless so if you want to get rid of the beginning. Again, I can do this, just trim off the beginning, move my clips around just like so. So now that you know how to split and trim your video, go ahead and do that. Once you finish that, it's possible that you want to edit the duration of your actual song so again we're just going to go ahead and do that and i'm just going to do it roughly just to save time there we go that will do and now let's say you want to add a few more elements such as an image or two i can click on the images tab i can click on add images or i've got already uploaded images and let's just say you had a logo or i could put the instagram logo very small in the top if i want it to last the entire video it can if i want it to last for a very small section where we actually talk about instagram again it can so just like this if i click play as you can see the instagram logo appears and disappears in the top left just like so and then let's just say you want to add a little bit of text say a title we can do this click on add new text and now i'm going to write watch this i'm going to change the color i'm going to change the font to anton and for example, what we could do is actually just bring this down just like that right here. And now again, I'm just going to edit this. There we go. This is perfect. Now I have space for my title. I'm going to change the font size to let's just say 96. Click and drag. 
and I'm just doing this all very quickly but it's just to show you what can be done and let's just say I could do it just like so now what I want to do is actually make it lit a bit there we go like this now I'm going to click and drag down the bottom so we can still see both faces this is perfect and now what you can also do if you want to display the length of your video you could actually click on the elements tab we're going to add a progress bar so if we click on add progress bar just like so we could potentially place a progress bar right at the bottom and then we can change the colors of that so let's just say I make this pink and I'm going to change the background color to the pink too like that so it matches now if I place this at the beginning as we can see the progress bar will go forward at the same time of the video. So the closer it gets to the end of the video, the closer the progress bar is to the end. Now that is perfect. Now, as we can see, the closer we get to the end here, let's just say right here, the video jumps up. So what I actually need to do is go down and resize, reshape this video here because we split it you want to make sure you crop it all perfectly at the beginning because otherwise if you split it all first and then you crop one clip you're going to have to start adjusting the next one and the next one so i highly suggest getting the aspect ratio and the layout of your video right first and then you do the splitting cutting and trimming then once you've done this what you can do as well is potentially add some subtitles but i'm not going to break down this entire process due to the fact there's no audio on this exact video but again i will put a video in the cards at the top of this video but you can use the auto subtitle tool to automatically transcribe all of the audio from your video into text and turn that text into subtitles however once you're happy with your zoom call now that it's turned into a cool instagram video what we're going to do is just click on the download button in the top right and then vid is going to start to render your zoom call edited for instagram and then once it's finished rendering you can just download it straight to your computer and then post it to instagram and that is how to turn a zoom call recording into an instagram post if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful please hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this please don't forget to hit that subscribe button much appreciated Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.